the name James Bond. Is it really as cool as it sounds? Or is it just downright annoying? When a film comes out, there's like a gap of time when everyone who has seen it has this cultural connection they want to share with me. This James Bond has had enough of sharing his name with some guy from the movie. And I'm just going to scooch over to your right a little bit. Thank you. It's not just the superficial stuff either. This name has seriously influenced his life choices. Now he's just landed in New Zealand for the world premiere of The Other Fellow. I don't know all about real people who share the name James Bond. <laughs> Please welcome director of that doco, Matthew Bauer, and James Bond. Oh, oh, oh. Matthew, I have to ask, what on earth is the appeal? Why did you make a movie like this? Well, I mean, I wanted to just know what it was like to have the name James Bond, um, and I quite quickly realised, very quickly, it's an absolute pain in the ass. <laughs> you, you can't find these guys. You know, I tried on Facebook to find guys called James Bond, but if you try and make an account as James Bond, it doesn't let you. It says you're using a fake name. Uh -huh. um, and I try making James Bond at gmail.com, you're not going to get it. And if you try and Google them, you obviously get a million results about from the other James Bond. So, so you I, did manage to track some of them down. How many, apart from the James that we have here, how many did you find? I spoke with hundreds of them. Um, oh, and yeah. then we decided to focus on a few kind of key ones. So we, we started in the 1950s with the ornithologist, uh, James Bond, whose name was stolen by the creator of James Bond, Ian Fleming, yeah. to name the character. Uh, then we jump forward to today, which is the 60th anniversary of the James Bond films. Uh, at times like this, everyone's always asking, you know, could the next James Bond be gay? black, could he be a woman, and so we've chosen characters that really reflect that. Um, so we have a gay New York theatre director who has to deal with constantly being compared to the most famous heterosexual man in the world. Um, and also we found um, you know, an African-American man um, who's in prison for murder by the name of James and, Bond. And this guy, of course, and, and yes. unlike the other James Bonds in the film, you've actually chosen the name James Bond, so yeah. why and when? Yes, yes, my name is Bond, James Bond. Yes, <laughs> and of course I have a name. Uh, it's a long story, I, I will make it very short. Um, my dad was born in Germany, and I was born in uh, 1911, and I was born in 1957. Yeah. And he escaped to Sweden and get married to my mother in 1950, and was born in 57. And 1959 went my father back to Germany again, and since then he's missing. So in the booth search my dad. 10 years, and then we also declared that in 1969. So when I grew up, I didn't have any father, so I took Ian Fleming's story because he was also serving during ah, the You're really related to it? But for his service, of course. So he became like my classic dad. From all this year, when I was a kid, we grew up. I thought, I didn't have my real dad because I took another person to my heart instead. And yeah, well, that became like my mentor all my life. You have to tell people when you chose to become James Bond officially too. Yeah, of course, 2007. <laughs> 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 yeah. That happened every thousand years. <laughs> what other one things you got to watch? Yes. Um, and there you go. Is your phone number a 007 as well? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> And the license plate. Yeah, the license plate and an Aston Martin DB5. Yes, of course. Yes, yes, yes. I like this more than as a parent. I really am enjoying this. So, thank you. And the way to you. And I mean, the Cajun James Bond Museum, is that right? Sorry. This is a museum. Yes. <laughs> yes, I have a double seven museum, double seven museum in Sweden, the world's only permanent James Bond museum in a small town called Nibro. Wonderful. Yeah, every other thing is in Sweden, it's a small country in the least iceberg. People think you have icebergs in Sweden. No, it's on the side side. Matthew, I'm thinking of you having to eat at the start of the documentary. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have, I have. I, I feel like I can now speak Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so nice to have you in New Zealand. Yes. It's very cool to have you here for the world premiere. And Matthew, congratulations. Uh, it's a film that everyone's going to remember. What do you hope people take away from the movie? 
I hope that they will be surprised. I think it sounds like quite a funny film, but I think there is a really serious side. There's, there's, a, there's a bit of a twist to it. Ooh, spoiler. Um, uh, yeah, no, no spoilers, but yes, hopefully they'll kind of get yeah, quite a movie out of it. Great. Right. It's called The Other Fellow. It's got its world premiere in Auckland next Wednesday and screens in Christchurch and Wellington after that. And it's all part of the Dock Edge Festival on now till July 10th. Tickets? Well, go to our Facebook page for more info. Please thank Matthew and James. <laughs> We asked you to nominate someone deserving who's...